Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm doing an anime review today. Uh, I'm trying to be quiet because my dad has been ill this holiday, unfortunately. The medications that he's been on have uh, caused some blockages in his intestines. And in other words, he's constipated. So I had to get him a physic, and the physic is actually working now. But beyond that, <laughs> it's been kind of a, pardon the pun, crappy Christmas. Um, despite that, it's been good though. <coughs> anyway, I watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Volume Two, and honestly. I love this version. It is far superior than the first, and it follows the manga more closely, and there are some really intriguing characters in this volume that come from this land called Shing. And Shing, as you could probably surmise from its name, has a lot of Asian elements. Uh, it's really like China many, many ways, and they practice a form of alchemy called alkahestry, and it's used for um, healing instead of transmutation, and uh, it's a very interesting form of alchemy, and we meet these uh, characters later on, like Ling Yao, the uh, 12th emperor of a long line of sons that are supposed to succeed their father and he's interested in finding the philosopher's stone that's why he's striking down the homunculi because he realizes that uh, they were created from philosopher's stones and um, he's followed by an entourage um, an older man named Fu and uh, the young girl, I forget what her name is, but she is just awesome. And she can fight just unbelievably well. Of course, later on, she she sacrifices a bit of herself. I won't say what or how, but she does that because she got the inspiration from Ed when he, his uh, arm had detached and he left it behind as a trap and she was caught off guard by it. Um, of course there's a, another character who finds Scar in um, really bad condition and um, she has a little panda that travels with her. Teeny tiny! itty bitty panda and he's just so adorable but that panda is mean he likes to bite people <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean she is it's not a, a male panda it's a female and um, apparently according to her story this little adorable thing had uh, contracted some kind of disease and sadly she was never able to to grow to her original size and she and this little girl who also practices alkahestry who found Scar and healed him um, she takes care of this little panda and uh, later on in the series the poor little thing is separated from her and she becomes exceedingly worried about her, excuse me, sorry I keep on wanting to say that the panda is male but I know better and uh, of course her her friend consort her traveling companion tells her not to worry about her friend because she can she just like uh, the young girl can fend for herself perfectly well without any problems <laughs> which is an interesting comparison between the two characters even though they're from entirely different species um, this series, I think, has a darker, more ominous tone to it, and uh, 
the preview for the next episode leads, leads me just wanting more. And I, I wonder what's going to occur. And eventually I will watch it. Trust me. Because I, I absolutely adore this series. And I, I just think it's absolutely astounding. It's just is so intricately woven and complex. Well, of course the original was, but this is even more so. And we see more of the, the door of truth, which I personally like, and you have the contrast and comparison between reality and truth, and just the, um, the different levels of society. You've got the military and those who are um, citizens and then the Ishbalans um, they're an, an intriguing race of people of course uh, there was a war that occurred and it was extremely violent and bloody and I'm not sure if Scar is the last of his kind or um, what's happening here but um <laughs> there's a scene between him and Winry that I think is extremely emotional there are a lot of emotional scenes in this particular volume I, I cried like a baby especially at the end of episode 26 in the uh, portal of truth it was actually uh, oh, I almost gave away a plot uh, spoiler Ooh, that would have been really bad. If if you haven't seen it, then I'm not saying anything else because it's really a huge plot point and twist in the the telling of uh, the the story that we think we're familiar with, but with this uh, retelling, it's actually far better and just more involved and. It's just beautiful, and everything about it, I, I just, I love it. There's nothing, I think, that is um, lacking in this particular version. And I think all the original voice actors have lended so much of their talent to this, and, and they are, they are tremendous. I really tip my hat to them. I am extremely impressed. I'm hard to impress, and especially when it comes to to dubs, because dubbing an anime, I think, is extremely challenging, especially if you want to remain authentic with uh, the uh, the original telling of of the tale. And and this is just absolutely <laughs> incredible. There's there's so much. Um, energy in this and there's a lot to be taken from it there's a lot of symbolism a lot of discussion of religion dogma creed uh, race uh, social class uh, government it's just like I said it is exceedingly multi multi-layered and <laughs> really intriguing and it, it really piques your interest and just it teases you making you want to learn more about the story and see what happens to the characters and I'm in, I'm interested in seeing what happens with with the new characters that they've introduced I like I said I adore these characters from Shing they are really fun, especially Ling Yao. I I I love Ling Yao. <laughs> he, he's uh he's arrogant. He's conceited. He's um, an exquisite fighter, but he seems to have some kind of um, medical issue. I don't know if it's anemia or or what his uh, problem is, but <coughs> I really like him. He's he's got this kind of um. Je ne sais quoi. And <laughs> this, um, bon vivant way of living that is, uh, very likable, I think. And he, he also is very loyal. And he, he definitely cares about his, his friends. And I, I think that I don't know if they really flesh this out more later, but I think he has 
romantic inclinations for the girl, but I don't know. I haven't seen the third volume, so I'm I'm not really sure. But if you want to see an anime that's well worth your time, this this is the one. It is it's a uh, absolutely spectacular it's it's dazzling it just sparkles and pops with passion and you, the the voice actors just they are so real and you can really connect with the characters and their emotions and all of the turmoils and trials tribulations triumphs that that they go through. It's mostly trials and tribulations, <laughs> but um, I don't know what Volume 3 holds in store, but I am going to be getting it soon, so <laughs> suspense is killing me. So uh, definitely check out Volume 2 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood because it is definitely worth it, and I give it four stars and two thumbs way, way, way up the highest rate I can give anything I've seen in a long time. It is fabulous. Enough said. <laughs>